You guys will see the three fine instruction. Protect yourself, obey my command. Punches over here gonna be okay. Punches over here gonna be okay. Good luck. All right, Tim, you heard Jimmy Lin and Jr. say it. Steven Butler going for his first attempt at a world title. You've been there. Oh, yeah. What do you think his emotions are feeling as this bell rings and he gets it started? Well, there's without a doubt, no doubt in my mind that he's ready for this, this opportunity because he's earned this opportunity. You know, he's either going to be against Demetrius Andrade or against Murata. And here we are challenging for Murata's WBA middleweight world title, the champ in the blue and white trunks, Butler in the tiger stripe trunks. And we saw two different fights from Murata in his, in his last two uh, fights with Rob Brandt. So some questions are out there as to which style of Murata will we see in tonight's fight? Because Timmy showed a couple different Ooh. wrinkles as he shows a big overhand right that landed on Butler to start. And he's giving Butler early all he can handle. So maybe that's some of the questions being answered. Are we going to see the aggressive jump on it right away, Murata, or the more thoughtful, precise, precision punches of Murata? You know what, Christina? Murata knows how to fight one way. Uh, you know, I didn't see two Maratas. You only saw the one, first, huh? Yeah, for me, Christina, the first fight with Rob Brandt, Rob Brandt just threw he a just ton of punches. He just got He got outworked. Outworked. For he 12 rounds, I couldn't that. believe he kept that up for 12 no, rounds. No, he wasn't ready for that work that work rate. But then he comes back in the second fight, and he, like I said, he fought fire with fire. He felt that, like, I'm the bigger puncher. I know what you got already. Now, can you take mine? So, but he's going to control distance with the jab at times, move in, and look for the right hand. That's he's already Murata. landed. Yep, and he's already landed the right hand a couple of times here in round one. As you see, the high guard. That that's all you're gonna get from Murata. He's gonna stop, come forward, land his jab, and come behind it with the right hand. Butler has landed a, a few good punches here in the first round too. Doubled up on the right hand as he continues to stick his jab out there. Has fought mostly on off his back foot here in round one, but lands a strong right hand. I like the right hand that was down to the body, bagged up Murata, and then that right hand coming right up to the top. But Butler keeps getting hit with right hands. He needs to stop jabbing from a little bit too close. That's the reason why he's getting hit with right hands from Murata. Butler doing some good work down to the body. And Murata hit him a little bit low, it looked like, on that left hand, Tim. And again, a second time a little bit low from Murata, but no warning. Murata's one of those guys, those champions, he will invest in a body early oh, of will. his opponents. He's going to break will. you down to the body. He wants to slow you down and take everything from you and he then does. get rid of you. He has no problem. Nice shot right Good there. Good left hand to the body to end round one. That round went by fast. Some good work from both guys early, and both, as you said, made some investments downstairs. Look, look at the face already of Butler. Some a sharp jab right there to the eye. There it is. That was a nice little throwaway jab right there from Murata to be able to land a looping overhand right on Butler. And Butler ended that round with a really nice body shot as well. So round two, Christina Poncher, Timothy Bradley. The WBA middleweight world title fight from Yokohama Arena in Japan. Ryota Murata looking to defend the title he won back after losing it in the fight before last to Rob Brandt. Butler right now doing a great job of throwing the right hand down to the body. What he's trying to do is trying to bring the defense down 
of Murata. Murata keeps his hands high, so if you go down to the body, eventually your opponent hands will start going down to protect his body. And he's looking for a big shot over the top of Murata. That's what he's trying to set up. Murata setting up a right hand to the body and back to the body goes Butler. Butler kind of just sticking that jab hand out almost as a gauge to set up that right hand. I noticed something, Christina. When Butler lets his combinations go, then he steps back to get out of range, to try to get out of range. He's there to be hit. If you follow him out, if Murata follows him out with a straight two, one-two combination, he'll be able to hit Butler. I promise you. Butler lands a left hand around the guard of Murata. And Murata lets that right hand go. And that's a strong right hand. Good shot right there. Love that right hand to the body. Yeah, he's been getting those in. Has Butler. Murata keeping that guard high and tight. As he deletes that right hand and then a left to the body. And a big right nice hand right from hand. Butler. Beautiful work by Butler there. And then finishes it downstairs. And a left hand to the body lands for Murata. Nice combination there. Butler's trying to get inside the power of Murata. So you see occasionally he, he'll step in. As Murata clips him with the right hand. And he's kind of, like you said, Tim, left hand to the body from Murata. Is he's pulling straight back. Yes. So watch the looping right hand of Murata. When Butler lets his hands go and step straight back, Another, he's going to get hit yep. just like that. He needs to step back at an angle to avoid that right hand. Murata's got it timed perfectly, and we're only through almost two rounds. Butler's still doing, though, some good work as he lands a right hand of his own. He lands that stab jab to the body, though, too, Tim, pretty efficiently. And a big right hand from Murata at the 10 seconds. What was Butler doing? Stepping back. You cannot go back in the straight line. You'll get hit with the straight shot every single time. And that's what Butler did there towards the end of that round. Rafael Ramos wanting them to bring it together as they kind of exchange some little pushes and shoves at the end of the bell there. Yeah, and that marking under the eye came right after the first round on, on Stephen Butler. Fortunately, it hasn't swelled up too bad yeah, you would think it would be on the, on the, the left yeah, eye. Yeah, with the, the right, right hands, hands that have been landed. Jab, yep. The jab that's been landed. For oh, Murata. We talked about the right hand, Tim. It's, it's found a home early and often. Yeah, I mean, look at what Butler's doing. He's trying to get out of range. His hands is out of position. He's standing straight up, and he gets hit with a right hand. Round three scheduled for 12 WBA middleweight regular world title on the line for Murata. Biggest fight of Stephen Butler's career at fight number 30 for him, challenging for a world title. And you can see the 29 body shot punches landed by Butler, but more punches thrown by Murata through two rounds. Again, that right hand just pounding away from Murata. Strong jab. That's a strong jab. Really strong, strong right hand jab. From Murata. Everything is being thrown with power right now, Tim. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way both these guys do it. They're power punchers. They're not here to just punch little tap tap each other. They're here to knock you out. Murata's got Butler on the defensive now as he shakes that right hand a little bit. Throws it downstairs where he's found moderate success with that right hand to the body. <laughs> Look at nice little change up uppercut right there as you saw Butler drop a little bit, extend it with his left hand and then Murata lift him up with a little short uppercut, right uppercut.
Oh, oh you're getting hit with right hands and then you turn southpaw? Come on, that, how does he that got make caught. sense? He got caught right in the middle of that switch by another <laughs> right Murata, Murata right hand. You can just see the experience of Murata slowly, slowly breaking down Butler. Butler now sitting in front, trying to trade with Murata. As he shoots that right uppercut from the hip. But Murata saw that coming from a mile away. Which way is Murata moving, Christina? I he's mean, moving to his Butler. left. Butler. Butler's moving to his right, then back to he's his moving left. Towards the, he's moving towards the right he's hand. He's moving right into the right hand yes. of Murata. So he got to be careful. There it is. Oh, right down the pipe for Murata. Butler's hanging tough, though. He is hanging tough, but he's taking a lot of leather, leather from Murata. And, and part he's of like the, heavy punches. And part of the problem also, Tim, is that he's not really backing up Murata with the jab. He's just using it out there on the stick. And now he's just walking straight in with his head down. Murata's just... The champ is just taking it to him right now, Tim. As Butler holds, but he does not have his wits about him right now. Oh. He's lucky enough to get out of that round. You can just tell we talk about levels all the time, don't we, in levels boxing? all the time in boxing. And you see who has the better fundamentals. It's Murata that has the better fundamentals. Butler coming into this fight on a 10-fight win streak. Nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. But being his only second fight outside of Canada, he's taking a risk fighting for a world title in the backyard of Murata. And Murata right now, Tim, through these rounds have just shown that he's one step above in everything that he's done so yeah, far. Yeah, skill set alone, like I said, fundamentals. He's just, Murata's just a better fundamentally sound. Nice body shot, that hurt. You see the left arm of Butler. And then he see, just tags go down them with body. three more to the head just yeah. in case you wanted to take that with you. <laughs> really good work in that round particularly with that right hand from Rayota Murata as we get ready to start round four. Can Butler turn the tide here a little bit, work a little bit more on angles, particularly when he's pulling back from the pressure of Murata? See, Butler right there, he tried to, to roll with the right hand of Murata and come back with his own right hand. So he's trying to make an adjustment for Murata's right hand. But you see how he uses that jab, just kind of like a measuring stick, though, Tim? He's just sticking it out he, there. That's just, he, just and Murata's jab is hard each and every time. He's just trying to maintain space. That was a nice little, nice little tie-up right there, how, how Butler steps in and stops Murata from working. But he needs to shoot that jab. There he is. He rolled, he rolled the right hand again from Murata. Butler did. And now it's having some success on the counter. But then again, Christina, it's when he does something and then he doesn't know what to do afterwards. He sits there for return fire from Murata. He admires his work. Yeah, when you get to this world championship level, you can't make those mistakes. No, you can't. Good right hand by Butler. Yeah, but he got a left uppercut in and then takes a right hand from Murata to the body. And again, to the body. There oh, he is, good, rolling. Yep, a good counter right hand from But did you see him Butler. stand up to admire his work after he got the right hand counter? That's the reason why Butler continuously is getting hit with shots from Murata. He sits there and admires his work. What's the next thing? What's the next process of your attack, Butler? The elite guys are already one step ahead of what That's they're doing at the time. That's how you got to be. Yep. You have to be that way. You got to be two steps good ahead of your left opponent. Left hand to the body from Butler. He gets a quick warning. Back to the body goes Murata. And that was a low shot from Murata. No. Nope. Right on the hip. Yep. It's been a couple of those.
Butler, nice right Butler's there landing some good punches. Coming around the guard. You know, when guys put their earmuffs on, they leave their ears exposed. Oh, and he just and missed with body. that uppercut. And a big right hand again from Murata. Backs up Butler. Again with the right hand. Two left hands. Excuse me, and a right hand. Tim Murata just teeing off with that right hand. Target practice. Can't miss. Target practice. Can't miss. Butler, no answer. As we look for exciting fights coming up to get 2020 kicked off January 11th. We're Jesse Hollywood. And the fans oh. from just up the road in Philly are going to miss. Here's a look at the upcoming fights on the top rank on ESPN schedule January 11th and January 18th. You get to see back-to-back -back weekends of light heavyweight action. All those guys looking to get back to world title status and February 11th from China, Jose Ramirez and Victor Post all go at it. So good fights to get started in January, Tim. And yes, we have a good fight here, but it's pretty much been the story of Murata's right hand. And Butler really hasn't had an answer for it. Uh, but Butler occasionally lands a looping right hand on Murata because Murata, what he does is he just covers up, put those earmuffs on like they're leaving his its ears exposed for a looping shot and like that. There's a right hand that Butler lands around the guard of Murata. Partially blocked by Murata. See that, you see those little shots right there from Butler? Those, is, those shots right there are just little flares just to keep the hands at home of Murata. He wants Murata to play defense for Lou to buy himself some time so he can land a hard shot. There it is, and it's down to the body right there. Oh, right on the ear. Yep. And there goes Murata. When he gets Butler backed up against the ropes, he just holds that left hand out and starts teeing off with that right hand. And Butler is trying to land a right hand of his own through the guard. Oh. And he's strong. He's hurt right there. Holding. He's hurt. He's, a, he's hurt with that, Christina. You can tell as he starts to back up and he's trying to get some rhythm back and move his legs side to side. And Murata senses that he's got the young man hurt. We cannot deny the toughness of Butler. I mean, he's, he's doing everything he can to stay in this fight. You just get the sense that there's not enough juice on these punches to really hurt Murata at this point. That's why Murata's content with just standing right there in front of him. Right. These are these are more or less get off me punches coming from Butler at this moment. See the little tap tap. Yep, he landed that double left hand. But Murata's right hand just comes right back and then a left mm. to the body, then back upstairs with the right hand. Murata trying to bait Butler in. Yep. Using those foot feints, Tim. There it is. And he Go. heard him right there Go. with the right hand once again. And he drops Butler, and it is over. Rayota Murata, still WBA middleweight world champion. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful performance from Murata. Was consistent all night with the jab, followed behind with the right hand, digging down to the body of Butler. Butler gave a valiant effort, but he had no answer for that Murata right hand. No, I mean, he had no answer. I mean, you know, he's 24 years old, Christina. 
I mean, he's still on the floor right now. I wonder if he's if he's okay. They're, they need to get a stool in there and get him up on the stool. Yeah, his still doesn't seem but. to have his legs back as you see uh, Bob Aaron making his way into the ring now. Let's send it over to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 45 seconds in round number five. Our referee stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. And still, the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Rio. Dominating performances from Rayota Murata, TKO five against Stephen Butler after winning his world title. Back